So this information I'm getting from, from the Government of Canada's uh, website. So right now they're saying that uh, the total number of confirmed cases in Canada is 138. 138 confirmed cases of coronavirus across Canada. And um, those who are infected with COVID-19, aka coronavirus, may have little to no symptoms. You may not know you have symptoms of COVID-19 because they are similar to the they're similar to a cold or a flu. Symptoms may take up to 14 days to appear after exposure to COVID-19. This is the longest known, known infectious period for this disease. We're currently investigating if the virus can be transmitted to others if someone's not showing symptoms. While experts believe that it is possible, it is considered to be rare. So symptoms have included fever, cough, difficulty breathing, pneumonia in both lungs. In severe cases, infection can lead to death. <coughs> so, if you become ill, if you feel sick during travel to Canada or upon arrival, inform the flight attendant, crew staff, or a Canadian Border Services officer. This is for people entering Canada, obviously. They will decide whether you need further medical assessment by a quarantine officer. If you are ill and must visit a healthcare professional, call ahead or tell them when you arrive that you have respiratory illness. You may be asked to wear a mask while waiting for or receiving treatment to prevent the spread of the illness. <coughs> if you have traveled abroad, and you develop fever, cough, or difficulty breathing in the next 14 days, isolate yourself within the home as quickly as possible and call your health care provider or public uh, health authority. Tell them your symptoms and travel history. Let them know whether you have had direct contact with animals or a sick person, especially if they have symptoms. And being prepared, it's important to know how you can prepare to, in case you or your family member become ill. So, although China remains the epicenter of COVID nineteen out of the COVID nineteen outbreak. More countries are reporting cases. Some countries may not have the capacity to detect or contain the disease. This means global efforts to stop the spread of the disease, of the disease may not be enough to prevent a pandemic global outbreak. And unfortunately, the World Health Organization has now declared um, a pandemic At this time, the Public Health Agency of Canada has assessed the public health risk associated with COVID-19 as low for the general population in Canada, but this could change rapidly. There is an increased risk of more severe outcomes for Canadians that are age 65 and older, with compromised immune systems, with underlying medical conditions, While a COVID-19 outbreak is not, ex is not unexpected in Canada, our public health system is prepared to respond. So, yeah, if you're looking for more information on COVID-19, um, yeah, you can, just, you can just pretty much Google COVID-19 or coronavirus. And whether you're in Canada or some other country, you should be able to find that information on, on the government's website or on the health department's website. And now 
Um, like, yeah, cor coronavirus right now um, is having quite an impact on the world, obviously. Most major league sporting events in, in North America have been canceled, such as the NBA has suspended all basketball games till further notice. The NHL has suspended all hockey games till further notice. Um, MLB has suspended all baseball games till further notice. And MLS has suspended all soccer games till further notice. I'm hearing that the Euro Cup 2020 has been canceled. Uh, Pearl Jam has postponed their, their North American tour until further notice. I was looking forward to seeing Pearl Jam in Ottawa next Friday. Unfortunately, that's been postponed until further notice because of coronavirus. And in the Canadian province of Ontario, I just read that as of this afternoon, all public schools, so basically all public schools, Catholic schools, and French immersion schools across the pro Canadian province of Ontario are going to be closed for at least the next three weeks. Like next week is March break in Ontario anyways, but uh, even after March break, schools are going to be closed for at least another two weeks after that. So all I can say is, you know, go online, Google uh, COVID-19. There's... Lots of helpful information. I'm not going to go through all of it right now, but there's lots of helpful information. And I think I found some information as well, too, um, about phone numbers to call. Uh, But yeah, Google COVID-19 and find out how to protect yourself and how to protect your family. My take on COVID-19, at least in Canada, it is something to be concerned about. You need to know how to prepare for this and all that and how to, how to deal with it, what the symptoms are, how to deal with it, if it does affect you and your family. But at the same time, you know what, keep it in perspective. I don't have any Canadian numbers, but I was reading that U.S. numbers for the uh, seasonal flu that from October 1st, 2019 till February 1st, um, 2020, that I think it was the CDC, the Center, for, the Center for Disease Control in the U.S., their estimated numbers for seasonal flu during the, during those four months was that approximately 9.7 million Americans got the flu during those four months from October till February 1st. And that out of those 9.7 million Americans that I think they said they 12,000, at least 12,000 Americans have died but they believe that that number could be as high as 30,000. So it's possible that almost 10 million Americans have had the flu so far this season, and that up to as many as 30,000 have died from the flu. Now, by contrast with coronavirus, the last number I heard for the U.S. was that 1,200 Americans had coronavirus and that it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 Americans that have died from coronavirus so far. So it is something to be concerned with, but at the same time, I don't think there's any need to panic. Like, I know one of the worst hit countries right now is Italy. It's quite an extreme situation in Italy. I was hearing that upwards of 10,000 Italians um, have coronavirus and that upwards of 600 Italians have died from coronavirus so far. And I know pretty much 
the entire country of Italy, which is approximately 60 million people, are pretty much on lockdown. That I think the only businesses allowed to open are supermarkets, restaurants, and uh, and drugstores. And they're only allowed to open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Everyone is pretty much to stay home and be under quarantine. And they're having, I've heard they're having checkpoints all over Italy. And that basically the only way you can travel from what within Italy right now is if you're going to a supermarket, restaurant, or drugstore, or if you're traveling for work. Otherwise, you're to remain at home. I mean, these measures do sound extreme in Italy, but you know what? I think they have no choice but to do that. It's just gotten out of control. Um, I don't know how long coronavirus is going to last, but you know what? It's not going to last forever. It's going to end one day. We just need to take the normal precautions and from, from the professionals that know what they're talking about. And while coronavirus has killed a number of people worldwide, it's only a small percentage of people that die or get seriously ill. I've heard that, um, I've heard many times that most people that end up with the coronavirus, it's just going to be like having a cold or a flu. You're going to get sick and feel lousy, but most people will recover from it. So let's just all take the normal precautions, wash our hands, use hand sanitizer, that kind of thing. And um, if you're under quarantine, you know what? Cooperate with the authorities and, and follow that quarantine. You know, we're all in this together. Let's just hope that it comes to an end sooner rather than later. It's a matter of fact, from what I've heard, it sounds like the, the worst has passed in China. So let's hope for the rest of the world that the worst will be over soon. And also I know that, yeah, I know some people who have watched and listened to this video are gonna be, are gonna be thinking to themselves, oh, I'm coughing a bit as well too. Well, I went to um, see a doctor a couple of weeks ago about this cough. <clears throat> and I was told that I might have a mild case of pneumonia. Like they did a chest x-ray. They said that my chest x-ray was looking kind of hazy. So I might have a mild case of pneumonia. They gave me some antibiotics uh, to take for a week. I finished taking those last Saturday. I'm not coughing as much as I use as I was before, but I'm still occasionally coughing. I am going to go and get this cough checked out to make sure that uh that I'm not ill with anything. And hopefully it's not the case and I don't think it's the case with me, but if it turns out that I have been exposed to um coronavirus, you know, I'm just going to do whatever the health professionals advise me to do. And I would advise anyone watching this video to do the same thing as well, too. And it's not just ordinary people that are getting sick with the coronavirus either. I've heard that I believe Tom Hanks and his wife are in quarantine right now. Um, a number of NBA teams are in quarantine, including the Toronto Raptors. As a matter of fact, that's the reason why they've, the NBA decided to suspend the rest of their games until further notice is because one NBA player on the Utah Jazz became sick with, uh, coronavirus symptoms. I believe it might even be two players now at this point. 
that on the Utah Jazz that might be sick with the coronavirus. And they're advising any team that has played against the Utah Jazz within the, within the last 10 days, including the Toronto Raptors, have to go into self-quarantine. And as a matter of fact, even Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is in, in quarantine right now. Because his wife started showing signs of coronavirus after a recent trip to the UK. So, what can I say? It is what it is. Hopefully, we get through this thing sooner rather than later. Just follow, again, follow the, follow the precautions that medical professionals uh, give you.